Hello to my Aries. This is Queen Amora coming to you with your general reading. All right, Aries, let's get right into it. Let's see what's in your cards. All right, this reading is for the 25th of August through September 1st. Yeah, through September 1st. Talking to you wherever Aries is in your birth chart, not just your sun sign. So including if Aries is your MC or IC or Chiron, I'm talking to you as well. Talking to you as well. All right, let's get into it. I've already prayed over your cards. Here we have the Four of Cups. Here we also have the Page of Cups. Here we also have the King of Pentacles. Here we also have the Full Card. Here we also have the World Card and also the Star Card, right? So, somebody has left some things behind. Somebody has left behind, you know, a lot of distractions. Something is now closed out. You're moving forward. Here's the Four of Cups here. Um, and so we also had the page of cups here. And so you got some good news, right? Here we have some good news. Here we have the king of pentacles here. Somebody has a lot of, um, something having to do with water, maybe cancer, Pisces, Scorpio somewhere. Um, um, something, something having to do with, uh, your emotions. When we talk about water, like being in certain spaces like uh water is shaped and guided by the earth that holds and surrounds it so whatever your water is around right sometimes you're around certain types of energies you know you uh because i like i said somebody has some good news uh coming across their path and your mind your mind or some energies are uh thinking about you right some people from your past are thinking about you could be they could have cancer pisces or scorpio in their birth chart um There's several parts to this. It could also be Earth energy too. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, Taurus. Could something could be involved in something, right? Something could be. Where I feel like the good news, there's certain energies you're not going back to. You're not going back to certain energies whatsoever, right? That's that's one. You're not going back to certain energies. Um, I see source is putting you around other creators where you can create, you know, where more divine connections that you have moving forward, right? Here we have the 10 of cups here. So source is putting you around, you know, like a, a more divine connections here. Here we have the justice card um, where you're taking some things. Somebody is trying to move more towards peaceful connections and leave behind you know, energies that try to keep you levels below them, like people who smile on your face and, and talk about you behind your back. You're trying to leave those types of energies behind. We may remember the sun illuminates the moon, right? So operating in your purpose is helping you to see that. It's like, okay, I need to leave behind energies that, you know, smile on my face and talk about me, talk about me behind my back um, to other people. You know, I, I need to just release myself from that. That's not a generational cycle chain or curse that I want to carry with me anymore of just keeping the emotional connection there. Like, I just got to stay connected because we family, because there's an emotional connection to something, right? If, especially if something towards you left you uncovered and left you unprotected, right? Here we have the Seven of Cups. Um... So the source is saying is trying to take your water away, trying to get you out of toxic or poisonous environments. It's like your water has to be moved somewhere else and somebody has to develop some kind of a new strategy instead of staying connected to being remaining in places where it's just a bunch of toxicity going on. That water can be used to create a life for yourself, like work with other creatives, um, if you keep your vibrations high and that's what source is trying to help somebody to do it's like a lot of your highly creative sign as it is but being in a wrong environment it could be very toxic it's just like water spilling all over the place when you like wasting your water wasting your creativity if you're in the wrong place and so that's what you're trying to teach other people is like you know this fool card, don't be foolish. Don't make a bad risk if you're in spaces where you feel like, you know, you can't create the life that you want because of people's toxic opinions about certain things. Like, get out of those spaces. 
that's overwhelming. People smiling in your face and, you know, telling you, oh, I like this, I like that, but then they don't really, so it's like, move on from those energies, like, leave behind the distractions, is what Source is trying to tell you. So here we have the Seven of Swords, there's a number seven again, so it's two situations in particular, somebody has just decided you're no longer indecisive about, you're taking that off of your internal scales because, again, it just creates confusion, right? It just creates confusion. Here we have the Three of Swords here. Yeah. So it could have caused some like some deep heartbreak. It could have caused some deep disappointment and some deep heartbreak when it comes to where your head and heart may have been at war with each other. You know, when it comes to something. Um, somebody may have felt like their back was against the wall with something and just being toxic. I may mean, have felt like their back was against the wall with something. Here we have the chariot card. But Source is actually rewarding you for taking the high road and moving moving on. Like, that's why you've been rewarded. So it's like Source is actually rewarding you for moving on. Here we have the Knight of Cups and learning how to save yourself, right? Moving on in childlike faith. So you and somebody coming together, It's a, it could be a younger person, like coming together. Y'all are, y'all are in more, um, y'all are envir in environments or sources moving you all towards environments where it, because somebody could have new love coming across their path, but sources moving you and somebody into environments where it's, it's their divine connections versus just toxic connections where people are like oh yeah yeah you want to create a brand you want to create a business oh that's oh yes you want to write a book they just smiling in your face and really like oh that's not gonna work out they don't believe in what source is you know showed you and so instead of you drinking the poison right drinking the poison and believing in that fairy tale source is saying to you yeah um you're moving forward I feel like, too, when I look at the cards here, too, you also got to figure out, like, where you were in your journey, too, because a lot of times people will meet their soulmate, they'll meet love in their lives, and end up getting married and all those things, but Source is saying, but if you're in a toxic environment, you can't see anything clearly anyway, so if you're in a toxic, so that's another reason why Source is saying, come out of these toxic environments, because that's how a lot of people meet their person. If you're still in a toxic or going around toxic family members, toxic friendship groups, and even in this toxic city, state, whatever, and you don't recognize, you could be on a toxic job. You can't see because somebody has love coming across their path. If you're still in toxic spaces, you cannot see your person. You can't. You don't know if your person is your soul. You until until you are separated from that energy. That's why some people like some of your. You don't even know that some of your family members you're picking up on their energy. Now you're picking up on their energy because you were just in a top. It's like around a bunch of toxicity. Couldn't you know energy vampires. Now you're picking up on loved ones' energy. So. You know, that the, the poison that they're drinking or that there could have been a problem going on. Maybe they were on medication or dr had a drinking problem or something. Now somebody is now starting to see, okay, wow, how in the world did I miss it? Because if you're around a bunch of toxic energies yourself, you will miss it. That people are looking for to be saved, right? And we don't have the power to save people. So I feel like somebody is now, like you and somebody are going to be in different types of environments dealing with more... You know, moving on from past disappointments and just learning how to be more strategic moving forward, right? So there could be some travel in the cards. Here we have the um, two of like traveling the globe, doing some, you know, something we're traveling is happening here where somebody's going to feel like, okay, uh, you're closing out cycles. So you've gone from the full to the uh, fulfillment card. This right here is retrograde, Saturn. So now somebody's creating some new traditions new rules, new structure to your water. It's like, okay, I got to get out of these toxic spaces because it's poisoning the way I think. So if you're still in toxic spaces, somebody's saying, okay, I need to get away. Whether it's a love interest that you're in is toxic, job toxic, whatever, so that you can't miss that somebody could be, you know, people keep giving somebody some kind of alcohol or giving somebody some kind of all these cups. Like somebody keep just like, here, drink this, drink this, drink this, drink this until it's a problem and nobody knows what in the world is going on. So, um, yeah, and just being in spaces where people are just like pushing them down further and further and further, just overwhelming. 
So I see some good news coming across your path. Like I said, that's the Ace of Cups here. Somebody has some good news, you know, coming across their path where you're moving on from past disappointments that may be unrelated to this so that you can get focused moving forward. So that you can get focused moving forward. Yeah, so that you can get focused moving forward. So, again, leaving behind distractions. You know, feeling like, okay, how in the world did I miss something? So busy racing around, missing stuff. So, and that could be anybody. Like I said, this is not just for uh, Aries sun sign, right? It could be somewhere. Like somebody could have, um, somebody could have a wealth of knowledge about people who um, could be highly creative but people see them as being mentally unstable. Somebody could have a lot of, like a wealth of knowledge about that, like, um, and how that feels, and, and how it connects to you all, Aries, is like, think about your favorite Aries artist, right? And your, whoever your favorite Aries artist is, very creative, you know, probably, possibly an icon or a legend, right? Very creative, but they have to create in spaces that is, they have the divine connections with people. If your water is in the wrong place, people will consider you as crazy. Why would you believe in that kind of stuff? That kind of stuff. So some people need to be in spaces where they need to create. Otherwise, they may drink their problems away or they may medicate their problems away or some other kind of, uh, some kind of sex or whatever. Anything that's going to pour back into them, poison is a spirit. Poison uh, back into them where... You may miss it if you're just zipping around, you know. And so that's what I'm saying. It's like a younger person um, is uh, like a younger person really needs some help. It's something about they, them being around energy vampires. Here we have the Ten of Wands here. So there could be a lot of drinking going on and a problem could have developed or something. So Source is saying, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. So if it's not you, it could be somebody that you have an emotional connection to. And everything is not just solved with, you know, impulsive, you know, impulsive behavior. Well, when the, why didn't somebody tell me something? What happened? It, it has to be met with, something has to be met with a lot of compassion. A lot of compassion. Because somebody just doesn't know where something started and why it started. So... Um... But somebody has a wealth of knowledge about, you know, people try to give you things to kind of sort of um, push you down to a lower frequency, like try to make you feel like you less than, maybe because of your skin color, maybe because of who your parents were. That's also creativity. Remember the first time we experienced water is in the womb. So it could be because of your parents, be because of something you're trying to create and people saying, here, drink this, take this, stress and some, because they're in the wrong environment. And then people are looking at people like they're crazy, like they're they're something's mentally wrong with them, and really they just have not they're not in the right place to create. Here we have the seven of pentacles. So some new seeds are being planted. New seeds are being planted. Here we also have the queen of swords here. Yeah, yeah, the queen of swords here, and uh, the nine of swords. Because some people are waking up from nightmares, literally waking up from their own nightmares. So this is where, um, in this cycle right here of humanitarianism, it's like, you know, we got to look in the mirror at ourselves because water is mirroring spirits, but you got to look in the mirror of, your, of yourself and make a new agreement with yourself that I see God in me. I see the creator in me. And so therefore I have to see the creator in other people if I want to collaborate and align with people because something has, looks like the car, something may have gotten out of some kind of control. And so while your money is growing and sources putting you on a path to being very wealthy, there's a younger person that's suffering. That somebody is going through something right now and somebody is missing it.
Be patient. The answers are coming. Yeah. Um, yeah, somebody's still telling lies about you because you don't care. Again, all that goes out the window when you got some energies in your life that really need, they're in a crisis and they need help. All that, whoever's telling lies about somebody, all of that, out the window. Yeah, always bet on you. Um, trust your first mind. Your well of joy is within. Yep. And, um, yeah, so... You are who they pray for. Like, whoever it is, is somebody who they pray for. Like, somebody has a new love interest coming in their path. But you're going to have to leave the ex-love interest behind as well as that whole belief system. So, somebody has new love coming in. And sources say, you got, you're got you going to have to protect this like your pearls of wisdom. So, if, you, if you're if you around toxic people that's been talking about your ex and they being messy and all... So this is like, you're going you're gonna to have to change that water. That's what some new seeds are being planted here. Because your head and heart being at war with each other. When you got new love trying to come in. And you're dealing with this a younger person that could be really going through some things. Where their back is against the wall. It's just the fact that you all are able to um, handle multiple things at one time successfully. That's a major plus for you. So sources say, you're going to have to leave the past behind. Something in the past that was just toxic has to go so you can be front and center full focus moving forward adjusting crown so it's time to do a crown chakra cleanse if it's not about helping people to adjust their crown sources like then this should need to be a part of the conversation because source is trying to make somebody very wealthy and it's not just wealthy in terms of like your information it's like also in creativity as well like i said a lot of areas are you think about who is your favorite or like look up Aries uh, artist, right? A whole list of names are going to come. I can name a couple off the top. I can name 10 right off the top of my head right now who are phenomenal um, artists who are Aries. And so source is saying somebody should understand how this works. Like for real, when you got loved ones who are trying to create for themselves, they don't, they have to be in spaces where it supports their creativity. Otherwise they'll be going call crazy. They'll be called crazy. So you got to be in environments where you that supports that when people are trying to find their way. So sacred waters, thirty-five drunken by drunken by the swell of the sea. I can feel the blanket of her embrace, unafraid of the presence releasing the cords. I call her in. I call her deeply within. Yeah. Somebody keeps giving somebody drink after drink after drink, and they just feel like they just got to be a part of something, like just get plastered in order to just be a part of something. And sources say, uh-uh, that's not the answer, because water, right, I said that water has to be clear. That water has to be circulation. That's your moon sign. So you see the moon right there. Find out what your moon sign is. And somebody constantly giving somebody, here, drink this, drink this, developing all kinds of health issues and problems. So I don't know who I'm talking to, but, um, yeah. It's, it's never just about becoming rich and money. It, it can never be about that when there's other people around that's really, somebody somebody's really going through a nightmare. Somebody's going through a nightmare. They are hurting. That's why you got three, um, this right here. Hurt people hurting other people, talking about them behind their back, just stabbing them in the back, just laughing at them, talking about them. And they feel like they try to drink their pride. I don't know who this is. Somebody, somebody that you connected to, an emotional connection. But I am loving, harmonious, happy, and free. I'm grateful that some form of kindness shows up every day in my life. I am nurturing relationships without conditions. Speak it into existence. Because Source is trying to put together some kind of collaborative effort with emotional ties. It could be family emotional ties where generational cycles, chains, and curses are being broken as far as family. So it can't be none of that. I don't get along with this one. I don't like that one. If it's a step-parent or step this and that, when there's somebody involved that's really going through something. So that's all that, that's immature. That's, I mean, there's no other word to say it. It's just flat-out immature for somebody to be like, okay, well, we can't come together to make sure. So, yeah, something is happening here. Something major is happening here. So if you want to operate in love, operate in love. I am powerful. You are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity. Live your truths and be a positive light to others. Yep. That's what I have for you all, Aries. Hopefully this is helpful to you all. Like I said, source is trying to make somebody very rich, but it can never it's never just about money. It's never just about money. And people can't be just shoved something in their face to just say, Okay, here, just drink this, take this medication, do this. I mean, mm mm. So it's the saying, uh, 
when you're um you know t- uh, people are waking up from nightmares you know of just be constantly just what it what something else is going on that is what i have for you like i said i see somebody getting married um i see like i said you got good news coming across your path love life coming all of that but also consider the other emotional connections around you too because somebody uh, on the other side is just struggling it's struggling bad that's what i have for you i'll see you all in the next reading bye